Hi everyone, Sin here. Today we're going to do some engineering and stuff. In this video we're going to discuss how to implement code to achieve a 0 to 180 degree sweep using a servo. This is going to be the first part in a series where we construct a sonar system using an Arduino and LabVIEW. What we want to achieve is an automatic sweep that goes from 0 to 180 degrees then back again automatically. This is so our sonar can keep sweeping this arc for objects. To achieve this, we need to know the pulse width range of for the servo, which we discussed in our last video, and cycle from the minimum value to the maximum value and then repeat. If we look at the code, the front panel is the same as the last video, except now we have a period control to control the loop time, and an indicator for the pulse width. This is so we can see that we're cycling through the array correctly. What we need to do is create an array that starts at the minimum value for the pulse width and increments linearly to the maximum value and then back to the minimum value. From our last example we know that 450 microseconds is negative 90 degrees and 2450 microseconds is positive 90 degrees. So these are the ranges we need to go through to achieve our 180 degree arc for our sonar. Implementing this in LabVIEW isn't as straightforward as it is in MATLAB as essentially we want to duplicate the lin space function we find in MATLAB. We want to specify our range, our step size, and have an equally spaced array generated. Let's go through our block diagram and examine how I've implemented this function. The top part of the code is a copy of the previous example. We initialize the communications to the Arduino here. We set the pulse width here. And then once we're done, we close out our serial session. Here we are converting our pulse width to an angle so we can track our servo's rotation. In this example we are achieving a resolution of 0.9 degrees per step. Now the bottom half is where things get interesting. This is where we are automating the servo sweep at a rate controlled by the loop speed. On the left I have implemented a sub VI which generates an evenly spaced array given an initial and final value and a step size. I'm not going to go into detail on how the sub VI works, but the code will be uploaded onto my GitHub so you can download and explore yourself. We then take this array, reverse it so we can sweep backwards, then construct a new array with these values added at the end. Now we have an evenly spaced array that sweeps from 450 microseconds to 2450 microseconds, then goes back again and this will give us our nice 0 to 180 degree arc. Now the next logic problem we have to solve is how are we going to index through this array and then reset once we reach the end of the array and then repeat it again indefinitely until we stop the code. If we examine the bottom half of the while loop we will see how this is implemented using a shift register and a bit of logic. Now if we look at the left we start the counter at 0, compare its value to the array size, and if it's less than, increment the counter value using the case structure. If, however, the counter value is greater than the array size, we will return a false value and then re we reset this counter value to 0. And that's it everyone, we now have code that will increment our servo step size linearly from 0 to 180 degrees and repeat this arc. Thanks for watching my video, if you enjoyed this please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.